Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new or returning. I know I did a reading not too long ago. I think it was a couple nights ago when I posted a video looking at the next relationship for all zodiac signs, but I'm not going to make this reading under any particular zodiac sign. So if you were drawn to this reading, know that this reading found you because this is what the universe is bringing in for you. And I'm going to describe this person to you. Okay. We're going to look at the specifics, the details, the qualities. How might you recognize this person when they show up? What does the universe bring to you when it comes to a romantic partner? This is the person that you will be with in the near future or future. In the near future, let's just say future, okay? All right, so higher power, show me the energies of this person, please. Ooh, some of you, it's a Leo. They may have a sign of Leo. Okay. What I'm getting here is this person is dominant, okay? This person is strong. This person is strong-minded. They have a strong personality. And this person is very independent. They have high leadership skills. This person has been single or has been, you know, turning down more people than they actually pursue. They may have a lot of women or men after them, but I'm getting here. They turn women or men down left to right. Okay, the amount of women they actually do turn down is like a hundred or one. They'll turn down a hundred, pursue one, like every five years. Okay, so if you know someone here who's always chasing women, always saying yes to them, always flirting with them, this person is, I'm not getting that vibe from them. Okay, they're not that type. <clears throat> this person likes their independence. They have a lot going for them. Okay, they have a sturdy job, a stable job. They provide, they will provide some kind of stability. This person has some savings, okay? This person is ready to start a family or they have a home, they have a house. They may even have a vacation home. They're just looking for that right person to bring in, to build a home and grow with. They can afford a girlfriend or a wife. Let's just say that. This person is not going to be someone here who's like, can I borrow your phone? Can I borrow your car? You know, or whatever. <laughs> if you guys dated any, no, I, I've never dated any guy like that. But if you guys have, I'm just going to tell you, you're not going to be dating someone like that. They're not going to be living with their mom, living with their dad, living with their sister, none of that. This person is independent. They, they have the nine of pentacles and they have strength. Okay. This person, I'm getting a very strong masculine energy, but it could go both ways. If this is a woman, she's independent. Okay. She doesn't really need a man. She wants a man. Likewise for this man as well. Doesn't really need a woman. Is kind of looking for one, but looking for the right one. I'm getting a strong earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could be um, their zodiac sign. I get that they may have a good paying job, um, very advanced in their field. They have maybe even their own business. The so Nine of Pentacles talk about, talks about having a solid stability. Okay, they're in that place where they may even have an early retirement, okay? Yeah, oh my God, okay? Now we have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you guys, this person, okay, I'm not really someone here who, um, <clears throat> takes... I don't know. That's just me, though. I know a lot of women and men alike usually want someone very rich or whatever. But I don't really like to emphasize too much on that. <clears throat> because just because someone's rich doesn't mean they have the 
best or greatest personality. But what I'm seeing here, this person does. This person has both. This one's a winner, okay? They have the financial stability and security. You have the nine and the ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles here is telling me this person may have a couple of homes, okay? They have boats, they have yachts, they have vacation homes, they have an early retirement. This person is good financially. This person may even be a trust fund baby. I don't know. <clears throat> they may have their own business, be a self-employed or entrepreneur. I'm just getting if this is a person who has a, you know, a stable job. Let's just put it that way. And they're looking for a commitment. This person is looking for someone because this person values commitment, values tradition, values respect and honesty. And they're looking for a friendship. Wow, I love this energy. This is exciting, you guys. This person also knows a little a thing or two about law of attraction. <clears throat> this person travels a lot. Possibly they may have I get for some of you. This person may own a couple of restaurants, bars, something, shops, I don't know, okay? They have a few things listed under their name when they fire, file for their taxes. Some of you, I am going to say, you have already met this person. Not all of you. But I'm going to say, some of you have already met this person. Could be a Capricorn or a Virgo, a Capricorn, uh, Leo. This person's well traveled. Maybe been to eight countries, 28, near 30. Okay. City, state, country. This person may have moved around a lot. You could meet also this person online. Wow, we have the two of cups and the lovers. You guys, the person that they're looking for is you. When you meet this person, you'll just know. They'll just know too. I get this person, what they're looking for, okay? Some of you, it's a Virgo. You will hear what they're looking for, or you'll get the sense that what they're looking for is really a friendship. And that's really how you should go about relationships. What they're looking for is trust and friendship. So they may want to take things slowly, you know, one step at a time, kind of see how it goes. This person is not codependent. They don't really need a person. They want a person. Yeah, if you pick up any codependent vibes, that's not going to be them. And I'm getting if you have a toxic ex or someone here who comes off narcissistic, like always wanting validation, came off controlling, insecure, has confidence issues, you told them no, they still pursue you, that kind of garbage. No, it's not him or her. This person is stable. They don't play the mind games. They don't play the, uh, you know, there's nothing kitty. There's nothing immature about this person. Okay. They'll even refer it to as maybe a young boy or a young man's game or, you know, a child's play. Because this person, like I'm, I'm seeing here, this person is serious, okay? But they're also playful. They're looking for someone they can go on an adventure with. This person will bring you calm, peace, resonance, comfortability, friendship. Feels like home, feels like homecoming. There's excitement, there's expansion, there's self-development. There's nothing 
in this relationship that's toxic unless you create it or I don't get like this person I'm not saying you unless someone creates that because the energy is coming in it feels so perfect you guys are so aligned with each other this is what you've been sending off to the universe like I'm ready I'm stable I'm sturdy you know I have I'm emotionally balanced I'm not in limerence I'm not dwelling on my past I'm not you know looking backwards I'm looking towards the future this is who you're going to meet someone who's bold someone who's confident someone who's sturdy okay I don't get that this person is emotional not that emotional this person is more logical Okay, but they're looking for that balance, and I feel like you provide that balance, whether you're feminine or masculine. We all have feminine and masculine energies, and if you are a female here, this person is going to make you so comfortable in your feminine energy. You know, those like where you meet that man, and he just for some reason makes your voice get all high pitched for no reason. And when you're just next to him, you just can kind of see how he's, you know, stretching out, branching out, getting comfortable. He has that really strong, dominant, masculine energy. When he takes care of you, you'll feel it. You'll feel so protected. Okay, it's like he's going to check out the perimeter. There's no none of that like mama's boy energy here in this reading. Oh, let me call my mom real quick. Let me text my mom real quick. Let me go see. Let me let me see if I can. Let me see. You know, there's none of that. Like maybe it could be a mama's boy, but there's no like I get this person has their own place. Okay, they're ready right here to settle down. They're very independent. Okay, they don't care about what other people say. This is the kind of person here who if they want to do something, they're just going to go. They don't need everyone's approval. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? They don't need to check on, check with everybody. Okay, there, this person is firmly masculine. You know, I'm kind of getting here a little bit of John Wick vibes. Okay, and that's super sexy. As for feminine, okay, this person is going to make you feel very comfortable in your feminine energy. This person is going to, you know, check out the perimeter, make sure that you are good, you're safe, you're home, you're looked after, you're taken care of. This person can provide that, even probably hire like a bodyguard for you or something, you know, when they're not around, they're definitely going to look after you. Okay, this gonna this person is gonna make you feel calm. It's gonna make you feel like it's a homecoming. <clears throat> if this person's a woman, like I said, this person is very independent. They're solid. This person's not gonna be throwing you all of their emotions and you know getting all emotionally volatile and making you responsible for all their feelings and their highs, their lows, and everything in between. This person isn't that emotional, okay? This could be someone that you've never met before. You're going to feel kind of like weird by this person because they also have a very strong presence. That's what I'm getting, a very strong presence, but it comes off as a silent confidence, okay? It radiates, it's magnetic, it makes you want to like stick by, stick around this person. When you're around this person, this person just makes you feel safe. They're looking for that friendship. They're looking for someone to have fun and giggles with. They're looking for an adventure buddy. I kind of get here this person may have even a very dark sense of humor. You guys may have a lot of inside jokes. There are a lot of things that you guys probably laugh about that you shouldn't. But, you know, you guys just <laughs> kind of vibrate on the same frequency and <clears throat> you guys just, you know, get each other. I get that this, if you guys become, if you guys have been friends or you feel like you know this person, who this person is already, it kind of starts off as a friendship to me. But I'm also kind of getting here, there's travel or traveling included, or this person will be traveling when the two of you meet, or there's something here about someone recently traveled or moved. I'm getting here, you guys may be living at a distance, maybe towards the beginning of the relationship. 
you guys will somehow make it work. It could be long distance, and then you guys both decide, you know what, let's let's move towards each other, or let me come to you, or come to me, you know. I get this person here. It what they're deeply looking for. I don't know why friendship is coming through very strongly, but it does. This person, you know, they want that person. They don't, I'm not getting here. Like, I'm not getting here. This person's going to want to feel like they have to be responsible for all. You guys both have a lot going on. I feel like this person does have a lot to lose. And both of you are very secure, very grounded, very stable emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. This person is definitely someone who uses law of attraction or they're very clear about what it is they want. This person's not double-minded, okay? This person isn't going to be wishy-washy. This person's not going to give you this feeling like they want you, then they don't want you, then you can't really figure them out. But you guys are going to take things step by step, day by day, one step at a time to really actually get to know each other. Who really wants to jump into a relationship right away, you know? That just screams codependency, and so that should be a red flag to some of you. That comes off really controlling. Because if you're in a rush, like, why? Why are you in a hurry, you know? The lovers here with the Three of Cups, I'm kind of getting here. This starts off as a friendship, then it turns into romance. There could be when the two of you meet, okay? That this person has been dating, and I get that you have too, but you guys are hitting duds. Both of you guys are not really actively searching, but you're keeping your eyes open to potential prospects, okay? So I'm getting here with this two of pentacles here, okay? It may really come down. You might get the sense that... They might be seeing someone, they might still have something going on with somebody, but you don't feel this need or this, you, you don't feel threatened by it because you guys are just, I don't know, some of you guys may know this person, can be in your life already, okay? There is maybe for one of you some thing that needs to be sorted out from either your past or theirs. Someone here may be trying to resurface in either your life or in theirs, but it's not going to come between the two of you. I get that this person is sturdy. I really do get John with vibes. Maybe they um, own guns. Maybe they are mechanical. They like to, you know, kind of, I'm getting kind of like the work in the garage vibes. Like I told you, this person is very masculine, okay? Have a lot of toys. This person works out. They're fit. If they're not um, actually athletic or extremely built, um, this person gets, you know... They, they have their, let's just say they're fit. I'm, that's, I'm getting strong outdoorsy vibes. This person's adventurous, or they may have a home in the mountains or near a beach. Okay, this person also getting well-traveled. I don't know if I said that to you guys, but that is definitely coming up. I do see here this person may show you a few spots or two. Okay, this person, I can't guess there's a sense of, this person's humble. Yeah, they they have a, acquired a lot of knowledge, and there is this quiet confidence about this person that is just so attractive. Like I said, this person has been searching but not actively seeking. This person has seen quite a bit. They know what it is they want, and you are it. You guys are. Oh my God, this is. So cute. I can't believe I'm getting the lovers and the two of cups. Okay. The lovers and the two of cups. This is like a match made in heaven. You guys are perfect for each other. You've been making a list. Perhaps you've been, you know, with all those people, all the duds that you've met. 
all the duds that they've met. You guys both are sifting through men and women, <laughs> through a lot of garbage. And now you guys both know what it is that you are speaking specifically looking for and you're not settling you guys are both and that's the beauty in this relationship you guys are not in a hurry because you guys are going to kind of take it slowly but when you guys meet the attraction the chemistry is going to be intense it's going to be immediate and once you I just kind of get this person's voice might even turn you on okay like this everything about this person is sexy okay they just fall right into their masculine energy or you make them very masculine or feel very masculine or you make them feel very feminine you guys just are like the perfect yin and yang i'm just getting yin and yang energy okay um this person is maybe a little bit introverted if you guys I get if you guys are opposites, you guys are complementary opposites, you balance each other out perfectly. I get that both of you guys have met, um, you know, yeah, didn't I say yin and yang? You guys are definitely, there's a yin and yang energy here. This could be a soulmate twin flame. There's going to be so much expansion in this relationship, Okay. I'm telling you, when I met someone like this, it's it was immediate, even before I met this person, even before I saw the picture. It was so magnetic, okay? That is what I'm getting here. I'm surprised I'm not seeing the sun and the moon. Speaking of, okay. I'm kind of getting there's maybe some distance where you guys will be traveling with each other there will be a move or travel in the near future yeah they have one eye open one eye closed you guys are both this is going to be a really intense relationship for both of you yeah it's a new beginning it starts off quickly but this one wins the race i get this person is going to be the I mean, with the lovers and the two of cups, this is going to be someone you end up, end up mirroring. For some of you guys, you have, you may have already met this person. It starts off slow, but you guys just can't, like, there's something very magnetic about this relationship because you guys were supposed to meet, have always, um, supposed to meet this person. But one or both of you maybe dealing with an ex trying to come back or resurface and that problem is going to be gone there's no threat of this person whatsoever but they could have still some i don't know unresolved issues with them but it won't stick around too much like i wouldn't even worry about it because the energies that happen between the two of you it's like once the two of you meet you know, it's like when you meet someone and you can feel that intensely for this new person just means that you really don't actually love the person you thought you loved. Because if you did, you wouldn't have fallen for the new person. You know what I mean? And so that's kind of how they recognize that. Like, this is how they know, like, I'm ready to be with this person. You're, if they have been non-committal before, they meet you and it's like, okay, I, I want this, I, I, I can do this one, you know, but it is still, you guys are still going to take things step by step, one day at a time, get to know each other, and that's how everyone should date, I don't know why people want to jump into real, I literally turned down, and this is not just me being cocky or cocky, I promise you, I just, I, I just get really turned off by this as a woman. And people think that only men do the turning down when women come off too strong. No, men are actually very much looking for a relationship and sometimes too much. I went on one or two dates with the last maybe five, six, I don't know, I, I don't really lost count but I turned down six seven eight nine men in a row because they wanted to be exclusive in a serious commitment after one date two dates they didn't even know me like we don't even really know each other 
that's just not that's just, you guys don't have that controlling codependent like what i got from them was codependency straight up you guys are not going to get that vibe off to each other because you guys do not need the relationship you want the relationship and if it's not a good fit you have no problem they have no problem saying hey look this just you know i'm not really looking for anything right now but when the two of you come together it's like wow i found my match you know someone who is stable someone who is secure and someone who is juicy this person is going to turn you on this person is going to turn you on if you like bad boys this person is bad at everything just kidding no the devil watch out there could be something very seductive tempting about this person um they may i don't know oh the six of cups with the devil the sun and the moon is coming through some of you guys may actually know this person a message is coming in as soon as you guys like and comment this video for a lot of you guys if you want to manifest this person drop a like and let me know that or tell the universe you're ready i actually really enjoy this one thank you guys so much for your time i'll see you later